one should not pass up an opportunity to to help somebody or to help a good cause. You know, and that's just a pretty good goal in life. All veterans, in general, have the feeling that they were never properly thanked when they came back from the wars. One of the things that I remember just like it was yesterday was in 2008, getting involved with Stan Cass and Lee Seward to start the Honor Flight of Northern Colorado organization. And they had an idea of flying World War II veterans to Washington, D.C. to see their memorials. I was so fortunate to be along with my husband on that very first honor flight and to have three World War II veterans that I was the guardian for, seeing the gratitude and the love and the appreciation from being up at Cheyenne and seeing everybody clap as the veterans came through all the way onto the plane, then being at Baltimore as they got off the plane and having an announcement on the loudspeaker. Attention everyone, we have honored veterans, heroes in our airport today. Please give them your appreciation. And to watch these gentlemen and a few women walk through throngs of people clapping and cheering as they did it, I've never seen men so proud, women so proud. I'm one of the many Vietnam veterans who hid being a veteran most of my adult life. I got out of the Navy in 1972 and hid that until May of 2011 when I was in a meeting with Ted Posywack, who was the fire chief of Frederick Firestone Fire Protection District. And he asked me if we were coming to the honor flight Sunday morning. And I had no idea what he was talking about. So Barb and I gathered up some flags and went out there Sunday morning. Um, the only people lining up was the fire district in their dress A's and they lined up as the buses went by. And when they went by, I just sat down and cried. Um, I had no idea that I had so much stuff built up inside of me. And that was the launch of me getting back into the community of veterans. So we both have been very involved in the community and love doing it. And when Honor Flight came up, Stan got in touch with the, with the gentleman who started it and we've been going willy-nilly ever since. What Stan, Cass, and Cicely, what their vision was for this has had a tremendous impact on this community for the veterans and the families of veterans, the active military and their families, and the young people of this area. So the Centennial Society was created to recognize folks that would like to support the community foundation and their charitable interests after their lifetime. So if they leave a bequest to the community foundation in their will, or make a planned gift with a life insurance policy, we invite them to the Centennial Society. We have an annual event where we recognize those donors, and um, we also recognize them in other publications. The Community Foundation makes it so easy to be able to set up a fund and to get started with this. And as we're looking back in our lives now and coming, kind of coming to the end part of the lifestyle, it's nice to be able to sit back and know that what you did will continue to work for you.